Hey everyone, welcome to another top 10 list. And here's my top 10 personal favorite movie spaceships. Yes, spaceships in movies. A little while ago, I did my top 10 favorite movie robots. So yeah, I thought of what else can I do, like sci fi sort of feel. Then I thought of spaceships. There's a lot of great spaceships in movies. So yeah, I thought I'd kind of do my top 10 personal, personal favorite movie spaceships. And this is just movie spaceships, and I'm talking about mostly big movies, like, I'm not counting Battlestar Galactica, or Doctor Who, or Red Dwarf, you know, some of them have, like, miniseries and TV movies, but I'm not gonna count them, I'm sorry, I'm a big fan of all three of those shows, I love Doctor Who, Red Dwarf, and all that shit, Battlestar Galactica, I'm not counting them on this list, so yeah, I apologize, I apologize for all those fans of all those shows, I'm a fan of all those shows, I'm sorry, okay? Let's get to the list. By the way, there's going to be a lot of Star Wars on this list. <laughs> but yeah, come on, that movie has a lot of spaceships. But yeah, here you go. Okay, here we go. I'm dragging this out. Here's my top 10 personal favorite movie spaceships. And before top 10 list, you got to have your honorable mentions. And my honorable mentions from my top 10 personal favorite movie spaceships. Yes, my honorable mentions are the Narada from Star Trek, the NCEA Protector from Galaxy Quest, the Gunstar from The Last Starfighter, the Milano from Guardians of the Galaxy, the Lego spaceship from the Lego movie, and Star Destroyers from Star Wars. Great movie spaceship, just couldn't make the top 10. But what did in my top 10 was my number 10. My number 10 is Prometheus from Prometheus. This, this ship kind of plays an homage to the Discover One ship from Tools of Space Odyssey. But I still really like this ship. I love how they explored in the opening with David walking around and everything. They got TVs, they got a really strange lab. So where you can do weird alien abortions in. Okay, that's weird, but yes, this feels open. You know, like when you're in some of the spaceships and some of the alien movies, you just get this creepy vibe. This one kind of has more of an upbeat vibe, you know, with this technology and all that stuff. And it's just a great ship. And the movie's named after the ship, so yeah. It fits a lot of people. It's a great ship. Gets you to here and there. And the ship saves the day. Well, Idris Elba driving the ship saves the day, but the ship crashes into the engineer ship to save the day so us Earthlings could live another day and not get attacked by those creepy engineers. Looking forward to Prometheus 2. I'm curious, in Prometheus 2, is there going to be another ship called Prometheus? Because it is called Prometheus 2, so I am confused. But so, the Prometheus ship from Prometheus, great spaceship. Go number 9 is TIE Fighters from Star Wars. Yes, the Empire's TIE Fighters. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, what I'm doing, but yeah. They're great ships. Um, every time I think of them, I think of Star Wars. I think of the Empire. They've destroyed a lot of rebellions. So yeah, you, you should hate them, but they're just... Look awesome. They look cool. And you got all these badass looking stormtroopers driving them with the weird black masks and everything. They look just awesome. Yeah, and every time I think of them, I just think of Star Wars. Okay. I like the TIE Fighters. Number nine. Come number eight is X Wing Fighters from Star Wars. Yeah. They just look awesome. They look like a big X. With like, yeah, the rebell rebellions they drive these kind of spacecrafts, and they're just awesome. If you ever want to blow up the Death Star, you know, use one of these X Wing fighters. They look awesome, they get the job done. They have these four little things, they shoot four different blasters out. It's pretty fucking cool. It's awesome. The I love the design of it. I love that it's used for good and not evil, like the TIE fighters, even though I love the TIE fighters. But X Wing fighters are just a personal favorite of mine. They're, they just look awesome. <laughs> just that's it. They look awesome. Coming number seven is the Heart of Gold from A Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And don't say it looks like a penis. It kind of looks like a penis, but still, it's a great ship. Uh, it's just an imaginative ship. It just has a lot of different things in the ship that it just, it's so imaginative. It has all these weird designs and holograms and all these um, weird things that transport you to other worlds and dimensions. It just looks really cool. I love the ship, <laughs> the Heart of Gold. I love the design's pretty good and just, I love just the imagination of the ship. It's a great ship. Great movie too. Very underrated movie, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Some people give me shit for liking it, but I like the movie and I love the ship in it. Come number six is the Nostromo from Alien. Yeah, I just said in my Prometheus video. I can't stand some of the ships that give the creepy atmosphere because I don't want to be scared shitless on a spaceship. But Alien just does it so well. Yes, it feels like you're in a big sewer <laughs> when you're on the Nostromo, but I just love it. I love it. I love the creepiness of it. I love that you're sitting down for, when you're sitting down for lunch and you don't know if someone's just going to have a face hugger explode on their chest. You know, John Hurt. Feel bad for that guy, but yeah. Anyways, I love the technology on the ship. You don't know if the the mother of the ship is going to kill you and blow you up, but 
You don't know if there's going to be a xenomorph on the ship. You don't know, but it's creepy. It's awesome. I love the ship. It's one of my favorite movies, so I just had to put it on here. But I love the design of the ship. The ship looks really cool. It's iconic. It's awesome. It's amazing. It's then a strong Coming number five is the USS Enterprise from Star Trek. This is one of the most iconic ships ever, like ever. I have a freaking t-shirt. I'm not wearing it right now, but I have the t-shirt of the US of the USS Enterprise. It's had many captains with Picard, Kirk, or Pike. Ugh. Just awesome. I love the ship. I love the, it has all these sections of it. I love how this ship is the ship you just feel the more safe. You just feel safe when you're on board the USS Enterprise. And I love it's a ship that just explores worlds. It's not a ship just to kill things and destroy things. It's to explore new worlds and just experience adventure. And you just you feel like you feel adventurous when you're on the ship, and you just feel safe. That's why I love the USS Enterprise. You feel safe on it. You feel safe. Coming number four is Serenity from Serenity. I could say Serenity and Firefly, but this is movie spaceships. I love Firefly. But yeah, um, Serenity just, you know what? It's a ship that feels like home because of Firefly. You saw all these characters on this boat. What they call it a boat. It's a ship. Ship, boat, tomato, tomato, who gives a fuck? But yeah, you just see them treat the ship like home. This is their home. And anytime you're aboard Serenity, it just feels so homey, you know? They got like a court. They got all this room for all their storage, the rooms. Even the, even the shuttle where Wash is, it just, it just feels like home. It's just such a homey ship. Especially in the opening tracking shot in the movie Serenity when they tour all Serenity and show every character. Love that shot in the movie and it just explores the ship and just, it feels like home. I love the design of it too and I love the, the engine in the back. I just love the whole look of it. Yes, I know a lot of people call it a piece of crap in the show, but con honestly, who wouldn't want to live on that piece of crap Serenity? It's not a piece of crap. I, I'm sorry, I call it Serenity a piece of crap. I love that ship. It's a great movie, great ship, one of my favorites. Coming number three is Discover One from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Come on, everyone knows this ship. It's one of the most intentive, intuitive, amazing, creepy, scary, awesome design ships. I know, see how it turned it? See how it turned it? It's creepy, but awesome. Like that, come on, that opening tracking shot when the guy's walking up and down the walls and everything. Amazing shot, and just, it's such a brilliant, amazingly looking ship. It's just so cool. Yes, you got HAL 9000 on it, and yeah, that guy scares the shit out of me. You don't want to piss him off. I'm watching you, HAL. But yeah, it's a great ship. I love the look of it. I love the design of it. It's just so much technology, and you just, you, you just when you look at the ship, you just wish... Why did it come in 2001 we didn't build a ship like that? Come on, I wanted to be in space in, by 2001. Good ship, though. Coming number two is Mothership from Close Encounters of the Third Kind. This just reminds me of an alien ship evading Earth. Yes, we had some ships like those. You know, come on. E.T. had ships like this. And Independence Day had ships like this. But Close Encounters just did it right. Come on, it's on the frickin' cover. That ship is awesome. And my number one favorite spaceship in movies is the most iconic and coolest ship ever in movies, the Millennium Falcon. Come on, it's piloted by Han Solo and Chewbacca themselves. It is their home. Again, just like Serenity, it just feels like home. And this is the ship that never gets destroyed. Like, you see a bunch of X-Wing fighters and TIE fighters and Death Stars all blow up in Star Wars, but the Millennium Falcon never dies. It never dies. Yes, it's awesome. It's in every... No, it's not. It's in most Star Wars movies. It's not in the prequels. Thank God the prequels did not ruin the Millennium Falcon. I heard actually in episode 3 or 2, like, there's a little, like, there's a little ship in the background that looks like the Falcon. I don't know if it is, but... For shame, prequels, for shame. Don't ruin the Falcon. The Millennium Falcon is the greatest ship in movies. It looks cool. They always call it a piece of junk, just like the new Serenity, but it's an amazing piece of junk. It's the fastest ship in the galaxy. It's the coolest ship in the galaxy, and it's piloted by the coolest people in the galaxy. Han and Chewie, for life. So yeah, that was my top 10 personal favorite movie spaceships. So in the comments section below, please tell me, did you agree with this list? If not, give me your top 10 personal favorite movie spaceships. Come below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.